Today we are taking our first look at a map that is four years in the making. It's called Zrees Reche, uh, Zri, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, Z-R-E-C-E, -E. I've looked it up, I, I, I just can't do it, uh, come on. This is my Wolf X modding, who used to be part of White Bull modding, I'm sure you guys know that name, and Wolf X actually has a lot of stuff on the mod up right now. Currently it is being finished up, and we're doing this video a little bit earlier than I normally would do map videos, but there's a lot going on here that's either new or just really beautiful, and I love the way it's done and I had to show you. Plus, Wolf X modding asked nicely, so there's that. This is a Slovenian map. It is the largest Slovenian map that has ever been made for Farming Simulator. It's got hilly terrain, as you've seen. There's seven different farms, three villages, more than 100 fields, 56% or 56 of the map is covered by forestry, which could be cut down, and then you can do whatever you want with it. There's also tons of sell points and other places that you don't see yet. There are no new crops. There are no new productions, however, Everything that is base game can either be moved around or do what you want to with it. Plus, you already know how to use everything, which takes a lot of the guesswork out of new productions. And one of the things I really like about this is when we go from flying around to actually driving on the roads like you guys will be doing whenever you play this map, um, it feels lived in. It feels real. And it's because it's based on a real area. A lot of the buildings on here can actually be entered. A lot of them have interiors, and there's even a few places that are based on real life locations. One of those locations is actually the Zader restaurant. Look at this! How cool is that? It's based on a real life place. And one of my favorite locations on this map is the vineyard area. There's also the grape processing here, so you don't have to go really far to process any of your grapes. You can do it right here. Let's go over new farmer real quick with equipment and land. And then we're going to go into all of the different areas that are on this map because there's a lot of really unique places. In new farmer mode, we only get a few small areas on the right hand side of the map. We have farmland number two, which includes field number eight. And then we have farmland number seven over here. So those are the places that we have. I say field eight, that's farmland eight over there. My bad. This area also provides expansion. So if you guys are playing in new farmer mode, well, you can easily buy a few of the fields over here and a couple little places here and there around it so that you can utilize more of this land and area. It is smaller farming. It's not big American farming, but uh, uh, this is kind of the type of farming that I enjoy, at least in farm sim. We do get a couple sheds. We've got a silo over there, as well as a cow farm where we can, well, have our cattle. It's even an upstairs. Check that out. How cool is that? Also included is a hayloft silo. So we've got that. We've got our cow barn there. And then we have our farmhouse right down there. Coming around here and jumping in real fast, we have 90 cattle, which we can buy for this land area. And of course, all of the gates and things like that can be opened and or closed. That way you can open and close certain parts. That way your cattle can either roam free or come into the shed. Milk is around towards the side and then we have a slurry pit all the way down here. Pretty cool. As mentioned, we have our house right here. And if we go in, we've got the full interior set up there. Nice area around towards here. Open that up. You've got a place to take a bath. And then we have the bedroom. Uh, the version that I have currently has the trigger uh, like in the midway point in the uh, the house. So I've, I've told them about that. Then we have another little living room area over here. Let's get out of here. This is one of the two houses on the map. So uh, let's check out this equipment real quick and then we'll go in and show you everything. New farmer mode includes a lot of stuff that just kind of gets you started right off the bat with everything that you need, but on a smaller scale. So tractors give us our Valtra A105, as well as the Zeta Proxima HS80. The Zeta's our Z-Tours fit really well on the map. And then we have the Dewey's Far Top Liner. It's as low as you can go, which means, well, you've got nothing but uh, headroom. And then we have an AB mower, which is pretty cool. Tippers include our Velger, and then we have a regular grain head. Uh, we've also got a smaller plow. We've got a cedar, a manure spreader, because you will be getting that, as well as a front mower. If you want to put that on one of your tractors, Pottinger. We've also got a windrow, as well as that tether. And we have a forge wagon, a little baby baler, and some forestry stuff. A lot of forestry on the map. Half, oh, more than half the map is forestry. So you could do that, but you don't have to. We also have a feed mixer, front loader, front loader tools, header trailer, 
and await. Heads up, just like a lot of the maps that we've gotten recently, there are some required mods. We have the biomass power plant, farmer's market, biogas plant 150 kW, small composite hull, all wood sheds, bugger silo with roof, and deco chapel. Now I've gone in and purchased literally everything, and here is our entire purchasable land map. There's nothing else. This is literally everything. Now this is most things. However, there are some little spots in between uh, as well as some places in the town area as well. So uh, the houses, for example, you cannot purchase those. If you're on PC, you can use a place anywhere mod and put, you know, triggers down and stuff like that in those areas if you want. Um, but if you're on console, you're not going to be able to do anything with those. You can also see here now that I've purchased everything, there's a lot more triggers all around the map. We're going to be looking at every single one of them. Here is your crop calendar. If this is something that you need to see, they have not taken away any single crop. So you can go through and you can do every crop that you want. They all work and you can even turn the crop calendar off if you want and do whatever. And here's all of your animal barns. <laughs> There's so many of them. We've got uh, cows, uh, I think another cow, pig, sheep, cow, cow, chicken, pig, cow, cow. Another cow, sheep, cow, horse, horse. So many. Production chains as well. We've got the bakery, we have the BGA, carpentry, dairy, grain mill, uh, grape processing, limestone production, and two sawmills. Not just one, but two. And a new farmer mode, I'm pretty sure we actually get a sawmill and the BGA, which makes things a little bit easier. Now we're going to start our tour and go in a counterclockwise motion. We're starting right down here, and we're just going to go north along the road and end up up here at the cow barn so let's do that let's cut all of our triggers off here you see we have a nice winding road that goes in between this is a lot of fun to drive especially if you got like a fast car or something turn off the traffic and you've kind of got a racetrack if you want i mean you don't have to but it's a lot of fun i'm not saying i did it but i am recording this 30 minutes later than i should have been as you can see throughout the entire forest we don't have those little itty bitty pesky trees but we do have a lot of designs decals we've got rocks everywhere uh these should not be able to be crushed because that's still locked behind a dlc at least a farming simulator 22. if we come above the trees you can see there's a lot of area around and then we end up at one of the smaller little villages at the top right hand corner of the map now here we do have a sheep barn and a hayloft right here so uh, you have a mountainside sheep this will hold if we can get down in here 65 sheep a lot of these animal pens are a little bit smaller but there are a lot of them so maybe that's something that you want to uh, take a look at plus we have our hayloft in there speaking of this should be able to be opened and it can be again how cool is that <laughs> that's just so neat Coming around towards here, we have a lot of grassland as you would expect, but you could plow that up if you want to. A lot of the fields allow for expansion, so you can make them a little bit bigger. And then we have this area right here. Another cow barn, if we can find it, there it is. 80 head of cattle. And then we have an area above as well that you can easily go up to. This is a lot of fun. Again, I know it's smaller farming, a lot smaller than most people are used to, but uh, I enjoy this type of map in the game. Makes things a little bit easier for you. We got a sawmill over here, so we can come through here. Bam! I believe this is the one we start with as well in new farmer mode, which makes things a little bit easier. And then all the way around, we have our trees. Coming through, we are going to go along the top of the map here, all the way to the left to this uh, sheep, bar, or sheep barn. I think it's a sheep barn over there. I'm not sure the translation is a little bit off. There are some required mods. We will talk about those, uh, unless I already have talked about them, in which case, uh, well, you already know. Little areas like this, for example, there's no triggers here. There's nothing here. It's, it's this area, it's Farmland 177, but there's a little area there. We've got an area up top, small little silo there, place for putting your logs. It's just a little area to the side of uh, the side of where the map is. And it's neat. More houses through here, more smaller areas here. And then we end with the sheep barn up at the very top. And this is actually a ski lift. Now, it's not usable, unfortunately, but it's a lot of fun to look at. <laughs> We got trees through here. It looks really nice when it's snowy. Unfortunately, I'm playing this in June, so it's not, not exactly snowy right now. 
you can cut down some of these trees and, and uh, if you want to make it where it's a little bit easier or if maybe you want to do some terraforming through here, you can do that because, well, we could buy this land. We can actually buy separate plots of this. As you can see, it's kind of split there and you can really turn this into a ski resort if you want to or don't and just leave it where it is. You could do that. Again, all the way through, all the forestry areas have pathways through them, so you can actually follow along the pathways. Uh, these have been done, it looks like, I don't know if they were done in Blender or not, but uh, this is a little bit different than I'm used to seeing base game. All the way through, beautiful, beautiful land. Again, nothing is, uh, nothing is kind of, well, we say off here. All looks really nice. Back up into the air now, and we're going to be making our way down towards this area here. We've got more just villages and things like that. This is also one of the areas that we showed off in the uh, in the beginning of the video, so let's check it out. Of course, top left-hand corner of the map, and we have a pig barn here. So if we come around, we can open this up. Absolutely beautiful interior open this as well and then we have the area to feed our little baby piggies uh, this is a beautiful absolutely beautiful <laughs> thing uh with some pigs in here it might get a little bit dirty i think after a little while but hey we've got it so we're good to go uh this building has an interior it's empty but it does have an interior uh, although it doesn't look like we're able to enter this building specifically yeah, it doesn't look like we can get in there. To the left of the pig farm, we can see we've got a silo over here, and then we actually have a silo being constructed. This is a construction site on here. Look at this. Oh, duck under that. There we go. <laughs> They're building it. That's pretty cool. If we go down from there, we've got our other house, as well as a hayloft and another cow barn. That's going to be located down here, of course. As you can see, more areas down there. Actually... I do want to check this out just real quick. It's not an area that we can enter. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it does have a nice playground out towards the back uh, side of it. We do have a usable basketball court with two basketballs down there. So uh, you could do that if you want to. And then we make our way up and around over here to the farm. Again, more custom roads through there. So you've got that making it a little bit more lived in and a little bit more fun, I think, uh, of a or farm land rather. There you go, 65 cattle there. And if we come around, we have our house. Now, uh, I do believe that this is also a required, uh, required mod. It's got the uh, trigger in the floor, unfortunately, but like I said, they're all in the middle of the, uh, the lands right now. So that'll be changed. And then we do have an uh, upstairs as well. Uh, although I think there's a collision at least right now preventing me from going up there. So uh, I have reported that and hopefully that'll be fixed up. But there is an upstairs. So it exists. And then we have a nice barn up here. I mean, look at this. How cool is this? Definitely took four years to put this together. Now down from here, we've got a couple really cool things. Of course, all the fields spread out. They are smaller fields, yes, but as I mentioned, you can plow them up and make them a little bit bigger or uh, cut some trees down and have even bigger fields. Now here's where we have the carpentry and the sawmill. So let's go up from here so you can see the scenery around. Again, absolutely beautiful area through and in around and then all the way down and under there with the water. Actually, does the water flow... Probably not likely, but it does look pretty good. So we'll give them that much. So here we have carpentry and the sawmill. Now this is really interesting, at least to me, because this area has like this. It shuts, there's nothing in there, but it, it, it doesn't need to exist. And it does, it's pretty cool. Here you could sell your wood. And then we have another door here, which when we open up, we'll open to the interior of this you can see we've got a, a, a marker here and then this is where we have our production chamber everything so we have wood and we have planks which can be made uh you can go into furniture and wood chips uh very how, i mean come on come on wood wooden planks <laughs> you know what i mean furniture and wood chips come out there but this is it's such a neat just interior look it doesn't have to exist there's no reason for this to exist other than the fact that it looks cool and that's why I love that. And you can shut it. It's like you go to work during the day and then go home. The house is right down the road. And then we've got another area right here where we open up to another shed or, or building rather. Again, does it need to exist? 
No, but does it? Yeah. So cool. Oh, it's a plank there. The door went through, that's why. And then we've got more openings through here, and we swing around. Bam! And this is one of our two sawmills. So this is the other sawmill. Uh, here we can make uh, planks, and of course we have our place for wood chips that come out. Uh, no going upstairs, so don't give it a try, but we do have everything else. Doors on the sides, etc., etc. Door right here. The whole thing opens up. Again, you could role play with this and say like, yeah, I'm going to work. <laughs> you work at the sawmill. That's so cool. Down and around from where we are now, following the uh, <laughs> following along with the water, we've also got a couple areas here. So we have farmer's market. We also have lime production. And then over here, we have grain mill. We have the restaurant, which you showed off. The animal dealers was well the vehicle shop and the bakery. This is one of the big villages. So let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's find our water. Ah, it's over there. And uh, that's going to lead us down and around into here. There are also a couple little areas. For example, the limestone area right here is in a quarry. Now, as far as I could tell, there's no diggable uh, stuff here. There's no taking the rocks or anything like that. Uh, but it is a really neat area. Again, something you do role play with. Uh, you could easily get some stones out and dump them down in there. You, you could do that and be fine. There's some parking. Um, that's another thing. There's parking like everywhere. So if for some reason you need to park up a vehicle, I mean, there's parking. This is the biomass heating plant. There's parking there. Over here at the oil mill, we have parking. It's just, it's so neat. Did I mention placeable areas? I don't think I did. Well, here you go. Here is a massive placeable area where you can put down your own placeables, whether you've got cell points, productions, anything like that. We've got a whole area that's dedicated just for that, and it's in town. So you can buy the area, do the things you need. It's beside a field. Hey, you can even plow this up and make a field if you want to. It's all up to you. You can do whatever you want. We've got this area right here. So we have the farmer's market there. The oil mill is here, though it's not showing up as a trigger right now. I have reported that, so we should be good to go. And then... Uh, up from that a little bit and to the right which should be up here we've got more stuff oh yeah and a shed doesn't need to be there but it is that's so cool haha <laughs> then we have the shop area and we even have a place out front where you can load up things like uh if you need to use a forklift sometimes you just need things to be a little bit higher and well it is <laughs> And I need to quit running around. So let's go into the shop and take a look here. Oh, yeah. Animals are purchased right here. Of course, as always, you can go over and just purchase things individually. Come around here. The doors are open. And we go to the front. And here's where we can buy vehicles and things like that. The shelves are empty, at least right now. Uh, but, uh, hey, you could always go through and throw some stuff on there <laughs> if you really want to. Going out of the store here, we do have a couple uh, showcases here. Gorink, for example, is being shown there. Haven't seen any Giants billboards, but uh, uh, we do have custom billboards here. This is our bakery. Of course, I'll be making uh, or taking flour and turning it into bread. So uh, that works great for me. And if we come all the way back down and around... Where is it? Ah, up here. The restaurant. I, I showed you this, but I got to show you again. Oh, and just all the cars going in and out. There's a lot of traffic on this map as well. Of course, you could turn it off and you're fine. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic is traffic. Uh, so here we have uh, Zader, Zitor. And then you can see inside. If we come around, go inside the door. And we can check this out. This is a real place. It's a real place. Uh, Wolf X Mining actually sent me a couple pictures. Oh, freaking out just a little bit over there uh the doors cannot be opened up but we do have uh kind of a visual of everything and then i love love that we have the 77 11 there and then we have a uh, 55 45 up there on the wall very cool super awesome again just another thing that adds to the immersiveness of the map itself if we decide to run up as fast as we possibly can what up water <laughs> <laughs> up here we have our grain mill this is one of the areas that i think looks super duper cool we got a place here where you can like role play working on your vehicle we have the mill out back which kind of goes under one oh boy i i have fallen off i need up there we go uh you've got that which goes under water and then over here this is where you've got your grain mill itself wheat barley oat and sorghum nothing too wild and crazy there and then right here we have a place where we dump and then we even have a oh it doesn't have no collision. That'll be fixed up. But in the meantime, there you go. That's your grain mill. Again, just 
Very cool, very neat, completely custom. From there, we move right just a little bit, but there is one place right here, this sheep barn. I just wanted to kind of poke over here and take a look at it. We've got lights on the interior. We've got a dump place there for food, and then we've got a place here for buying them. 65 sheep, absolutely beautiful. Again, another building down here. So gorgeous. From there, we will poke our head around towards the right, right here. And then we've got more areas here for animals, for cattle. Uh, over here, let's see, we buy those. 80 head of cattle, a door that opens. And then we have the interior right here. And another door that opens on the end. Going around towards the side here, we do have a shed building. We gotta open this up. We've got a full opening there for all of your stuff. Uh, there is a nice big field here as well as Plenty of grasslands all the way around, so you're good to go there. And then we have a place over here for horses. So if you guys uh, are into equestrian farming, horse farming, I don't know. Uh, we've got a place here too. This one holds eight horses. We do have a place up a little bit. This is the BGA. I think this is owned in new farmer mode. At least it, it was for me. Um, it's full setup for a BGA. We've got places for doing silage. Over here we can buy the place. And then of course we have um, income as far as for silage, manure, straw, hay, potatoes, and sugar beet cut. It's going to turn everything into uh, digestate and sell the power. And we can also make uh, or take slurry and uh, get some of the digestate out for that as well. I'm pretty sure the slurry should say stuff on the side, but uh, eh, it is what it is. We've also got a scale. So if you need a scale, we have that. Now, if we went almost hard right, we would end up back at the main farm, but we're not. We're going to go straight down. We have another horse barn here. This one's a little bit bigger. We could go in, open up the big old doors, come in. We could buy 12 horses. So I think that's, uh, what, a total of 20 that we could have so far on the map itself. I think some barns will hold 16, but at least as far as I know, uh, none on this farm. Then we have a big area here, which is which well, just a shed. This is it. Then we've got an area over here as well. Uh, this is a uh, house model. However, it is not a house itself, though we do own the land. So you could put a trigger in front of it and go to sleep. Oh, yeah, and a riding area. So how cool is that? Making our way down from there might be my favorite place on the map. So we have the grape processing plant here. Uh, here we can make raisins, grape juice, all cool, no big deal. However, the really nice thing is it's surrounded by vineyards. So you can actually do all of your vineyard work just from one location. You don't have to worry anymore about trying to go here, go there, do this, yada, yada, yada. We got a little villa type thing here, basketball court. Uh, and then we've got a shed with, with, well, more of a patio. Is that a chair on, on the table? I feel like I'm being trolled right now. <laughs> but we've got this whole area here. I mean, again, some of it's usable, some of it's not. Uh, on most maps, nothing's usable. So, hey, we'll take what we can get, I think, at this point. Uh, down here and around, just another uh, another farmhouse. Actually, it looks like there's an interior. Can we use this? I, mean, I, I doubt it. But I'm going to give it a try, nonetheless. Let's see, coming around here. Uh -huh, here, door. So, not usable, but it does have an open interior, at the very least. Making it feel a little bit more friendly to looking at and then all around here the vineyards vineyard 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 it is grapes here as well at least that is what is planted as you can see there uh, if we come into build mode i'm assuming we can demolish these yep so you're good to go there uh, let's see what was that decorations orchards grapevine Sorry about that, <laughs> fix that. Uh, but we've got all of that and you can actually expand that even further if you would like. And it kind of uh, lends itself to that. Over here, we have another uh, sell point. This is the livestock market. So uh, things like straw and things like that. Uh, it does have an open interior. However, the door cannot be opened. At least uh, I'm not able to get it open. And then we have another cow pasture right down here. They're everywhere, man, I'm telling you. They're... <laughs> There's just so many animals on this farm in the map. 30 here. It's not massive, uh, but you can use it nonetheless. Uh, do we have a way to get into the pen? If we have a way to get into the pen, uh, we do. Yeah, we can just drive straight through there. So uh, you could technically, if you wanted to buy this land, which is farmland number 30, it's 40 grand. Uh, you could buy this and then plow all this up and create a grass field or something if you really wanted to. 
you can do that. And then lastly, our last stop today is gonna be up here into this village. Now again, another, another village, very idyllic if you wanna use that word. Beautiful is the word that I would use. Another sub point that I have just fallen in love with is this. I don't know how to say this, but, but it's the dairy. So there's that. We have butter, cheese, and chocolate. Sounds like I've had too much chocolate today. Uh, we got our tip down here. If we hop up in here, we've got one open bay. None of the rest of these open, so uh, don't worry about that too much. A little bit of uh, fun going on through there. I'm using some interesting settings as well, so maybe that's just me. No interior on here. However, we do have the nice uh, dump trigger there, which makes things kind of neat. And then if we make our way around a little bit more in this area, for example, going down this road, we have a cell point. Now, I think this cell point's probably gonna have to be renamed as a Mercure, I believe, uh, Mercator. Uh, yeah, went to a couple of these whenever I was in, uh, uh, whenever I was in Germany, I think, or something. Uh, it was something similar to this. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, we, we have a cell point there. It's not a drive around, might be able to fit through there but not in any tractor that I know of. So make sure you're backing in. And then the last stop is going to be this guy. Now I think this might be one of the required mods. Uh, so eh, that may be why the, uh, the name is, uh, well, escaping me, I guess is the best word to use. Let's go and open it up, take a look, check it out. We've got through there. I don't remember where we buy the cattle on this one. There's a tip around towards the front. I don't know, let's just kind of run through here and see what we've got. Maybe it's on the other side. Uh, this holds more than any of the other animal pens, 120. So that's going to be your mass or the biggest amount. But with this map being more realistic, uh, leading you, it's going to be really hard to farm unrealistic, except with capacities anyway here. So uh, you may want to download uh, Omatana's um, TARDIS XL stuff and use it on this farm. Probably be good to go. And then uh, lastly, we bring ourselves right back up to the main farm. And uh, that is your farm uh, showcase. Yeah. So you've got the basic overview. You've got the map tour itself. And now we give you one final aerial overview. Tell me, what do you guys think about this map? What do you, uh, what would you change? What would you add? What were things that you would do to make this either better for you or, or is this perfect? I think this is a really cool map. Definitely lends itself to a little bit smaller stuff. Uh, yeah, you could do productions, but you don't have to. Uh, if you like doing animals, well, there's plenty of that, but if you don't, well, that's okay. You don't have to do those either. They're kind of spread out and uh, some are on farms, some are on little areas by themselves. Uh, so just delete them if you want to or go from there. You are good to go. And and even a ski <laughs> resort area here. Uh, there's no resort yet, but I'm sure that you could put down some extra buildings. It'd be just fine. So I want to give a big old shout out to Wolf X Modding for sending over this map to show you guys. Again, this is definitely not the style of map that I normally do showcase, but when I saw the map, when I got on it and flew around, I knew that I had to make a video on it and show you guys because it's just beautiful. It's been done really well, and we're not getting a lot of maps these days that are done as well as this one is. So I wanted to show it to you. Hope you've enjoyed this. Drop a like, get subscribed, uh, join the Go Ham fam, do all the fun stuff. I uh, make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, if I post a video, you know about it. Again, big shout out Wolf S Modding. We'll leave a link down below for you to check them out. Otherwise, have an awesome day. We'll see you later.